Hey, do you remember back in the day when blowing into a video game cartridge was the ultimate troubleshooting technique? So do I, but times have changed. Today, I'm going to dive into Open EMU, which is the best way to play retro video games on your Mac in 2025. From installation to pro tips, I got you covered. Let's get started. First, let's head to openemu.org using our web browser. Once we get to openemu.org, we gotta download the latest version. It's free, and trust me, your Mac is gonna love it. But wait, Mac OS likes to think that it's protecting you from having fun. But that's okay, if you get one of those nasty, annoying security warnings, we can get around it by doing this. Just go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, scroll down and hit Allow Open EMU. And then make sure to click open anyways. Once you authenticate with your admin credentials, you'll have to close out the settings window and then click move to application folder. This will actually start the application install process. So OpenEMU doesn't actually come with any games. Cue the sad music. <laughs> but don't worry, adding ROMs is really easy. So the best way to do this, if you open up OpenEMU, you could sit there and drag the ROM right into the screen. It'll automatically put it in the right container, or you could hit File and click Add to Library. You can then search for the ROM and then click Open. And voila, just like that, the game is added. No configuring, no coding, and it even pulls in the album art. Let's hit Play Game and see what happens. Just like that, the game is started. No loading screens and no blowing on the cartridge to make sure it works. And as you can see on the left hand side, OpenEMU comes preloaded with a bunch of different cores and systems for all these different consoles. Which means you don't have to sit there and try to configure them one by one. All you have to do is get the ROM and install it. Now yes, there are websites out there that have all these ROMs for all these emulators and you can download them and install them pretty easily. But unfortunately, that's not the legitimate way of getting these. Legally, you should only play games you own a physical copy of. So if you have cartridges or discs laying around, you can back them up using Retro for cartridges or Homebrew for consoles with CDs. And I'll put the links for those in the description below. Now, if you're playing games for PlayStation or Sega, you're also going to need the BIOS file. Now, these are like little secret sauce of emulation. But good news, OpenEMU has the guides for these on their website. I'll also link them below for you. All right, once we got OpenEMU installed and the ROMs installed, how are you going to play these games? You can use the keyboard on your Mac. You can use a third-party keyboard like this. But unless you like getting Carpal Tunnel and you want that real video game experience from back in the day, you can just map a regular console controller like this Xbox One S controller. And what's great about this, once you connect it, it automatically maps the buttons for you. And this is very simple to accomplish. Once your Bluetooth controller is connected, all you need to do is go into the settings of the Open EMU software, go to controls, and it'll let you select the console you're willing to play, your player number, and the controller type. And as you can see, for both keyboard and controller, that it maps the buttons automatically. So there's no configuring on your end. Now there are some button types, like rapid fire, that you'll have to select manually. But that's fine. All the main buttons are automatically mapped, as you see here with the N64 controller. Now if you want the full retro experience and you want to play a Super Nintendo game with the Super Nintendo controller, unfortunately you can't stick a Super Nintendo controller into your computer. But Amazon does sell retro USB controllers for you to purchase. And it'll automatically connect to that open EMU and give you that full retro experience like back in the day. And if you want to enhance your experience, open EMU has a ton of options for you to pick from. Hey, if you're looking for that authentic look and feel, all you need to do is go to shaders. Select any one of the CRT options and it'll look like the old boob tube. If you're looking for the highest resolution, select pixelate. And if you're looking for the old Game Boy look, select NTSC. And back in the day, 
we used to be able to use cheat codes. Now, it's built in. And if for some reason, you keep dying at the boss level, just click the save option. It'll create a checkpoint anywhere in the game you are. So you can create a checkpoint right as you're about to beat the boss. And you can start back at that save spot without having to restart the whole level. And that's how you turn your Mac into the ultimate retro gaming machine. If this video helped you, make sure to comment below and let me know. And then like and subscribe for more tech videos. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some old school Mario Kart 64 to play and dominate. Of course I want to be Mario. It's Mario Kart.